Good evening. Welcome to March 10th, 2020, regular selectmen's meeting. We have a full board tonight. There's a town manager, town clerk, and head of the, I can't even know, ad hoc rec committee. Yes, that's good. <laughs> All right, please stand with me and salute the flag. Pledge of allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Uh, we have uh, February 11th minutes to uh, approve. Is uh, Ken, Noah, and myself for that one? I would move the minutes as presented. That's the last one we're at, huh? Yeah. No, no, that, well, that, no we have another one. Oh. Yeah, I was not there. So, yep. um, yeah, uh, second. Oh, that's right. I have the wrong one here. The mm -hmm. February 11th one, February 25th. Okay. Is, um, we have a motion and a second. Any, any discussion? No. All those in favor? Thank you. And then we have the last one. Last week, February 25th one. And that's the one where, that's the one where no, Noor and Ken and I were here. I'll make a motion that we accept the minutes as presented. Second. Any discussion? All those in favor? First public comment. Unless Rick's going to get up and have a public comment and his piece later. Is uh, we have no public hearings. Um, I do have a printout for Envision Berwick is uh, the Comprehensive Planning Committee Committee will meet on the second Thursday of each month at 6 p.m. The Comprehensive Plan will set the direction of the town for the next decade and beyond. Public participation is welcomed and encouraged. As the Envision Berwick Committee implements the town comprehensive plan <coughs> and it will meet on the third Tuesday of each month at 6 p.m. And, and both of those meetings take place in this room here. Uh, we have no department's reports. Uh, we have a presentation from Rick Vandenberg for the Rec, Mec, Rec Master Plan Review. I realize my cards are under here. <laughs> I'm looking for those. Uh, Rick Vandenberg, 51 East Pastor Road. I'm the ad hoc chair of the Recreation Master Planning Group. Um, I came last meeting and we had um, a lively discussion about the plan and about um, some thoughts and we heard some criticism about our plan relative to uh, our use of the term Esterbrook Park and um, in sort of some recommendations that we had made in the plan about, about the kind of kind of envisioning this park. We didn't really have a lot of specifics about the park, and some of that is um, was left in our plan going back three and a half years when we first started talking about it, and we envisioned maybe some athletic fields and stuff being there. But since the, there's a municipal use in, in terms of the fire station there, um, Tom, I'm sorry, so Chairman Wright. You can say Tom. Okay. <laughs> Uh, you know, expressed the, the fact that he may, wouldn't necessarily support our plan um, with the language in there about Esterbrook Park the way we had it. And so we met since the last time we, we came in and talked about it and talked about that specifically about that part of the plan. And, um, and, and I think in a nutshell, we've sort of heard the concerns about that language and, and really we considered more of what's, what's currently going on over there. Um, in the in the form of doing this this fire station and maybe some other some other plans for the property and the, the, What we wanted to say originally and I think it's the same and you'll see in what we what we've done when I talk about it What we wanted to say originally is hey, you know town here, Here's some space that you own, you know consider doing some stuff there that might lead to recreation and um, and really that was the purpose of that section because we knew that there were a lot of things going back and forth about Esterbrook. You know, there was there was a, a senior housing facility plan there and there were a number of other things that were sort of being bannered about. And so the idea for the to, to have the recreation language was just to get the kind of a voice about, you know, hey, whatever you do, consider consider doing some stuff there that could lead to this. Um, and I know that there's been there was some back and forth with the planning board about 
um, the idea of doing whether it's open space or public space or whatever, whatever, however you want to refer it. Uh, anyway, we met and we did some things to the plan. Essentially, we we took the language out. We took all references to Esterbrook Park out because we thought that that was a little premature to call it a park. We changed every every reference in there to the public safety complex, and we removed. We had we had that that section stuck in the athletic field section and it really didn't belong there anymore since there weren't going to be any soccer fields so we moved it to tra the trails and parks section and we changed the name to the public safety complex and we changed we removed this the the specific um, recommendations because we again it's still early for that it's premature um, we thought as a group that it might be better just to again have a paragraph that said hey town you know as we go forward and you finish up your plans your the, the fire station and other things on, on, on this parcel, if there's some land left over, consider using it for, um, for public use. You know, and, and I guess the term is public space or it's open space. We use the word in this, in this paragraph, on pa it's in section, it's on page 12, and um, there's a little paragraph there. We use the term open space in a couple places, and today it was pointed out to me that maybe we were using the term open space wrong and that, that that term should be public space. But I just reviewed this again, and I feel like we're, we're really looking at open space. We're referring to it as not capitalized open space, just open space as in available leftover land. That's really what the reference is. And really, this paragraph just gives some guidance in the future that if there's some space, you know, this could be an important connector. This could be a lot of things that if there's a little bit of space and there are no other uses and, and the public safety personnel decide that um, that it's worth you know engaging the public and bringing the, the public onto the onto the parcels for specific uses. Then it might be a good thing to do in the future. And that's really all this says now. Um, we hope that, um, that and I think it, it's flexibility for all people. People that might have a stake in, in this in this parcel in the future, and then it also it's flexible enough for people that are already doing stuff there to kind of get what they want. And I think the community ultimately can make this paragraph whatever they want in the future. So that's really what we did. And there's really no other changes. We did do a, um, a fixed sheet that's kind of just shows where all the changes are. But I, I mean, I've really just kind of summed them up. It's really just relative to Estabrook Park, removing that paragraph and sticking this paragraph in there. And that's it. I mean, that's, that's what I have. You guys, if you have questions relative to that, I'd be happy to answer them. I'll just say that, you know, like Rick said, he and I sat down and went over this and, and discussed what was going on. And, um, you know, we, we worked on these changes together. And uh, I feel that now that this is a complete, you know, plan. And uh, as I will vote to support it. Any great. questions there, Rick? Great. No, no I think you've done a great job. Thank you. I think, okay. the, I think the new language is certainly supports. Um, Everything that we've envisioned or I've envisioned, so I think I think it's a great plan. So again, it's a fluid document. So as we move forward, it's it's nothing concrete. It's a fluid document which provides recommendations, which can help guide the community in best practices. So I think it's great. Actually, I'll step right into what you just said at the end, and I think to the the idea about guiding, it was it was suggested that maybe. Um, you know, I, I would love for this for this plan to be approved and become an appendix in the existing comprehensive plan, and in the future, the comp, the, the comp group can can pull it in as a chapter in the in the new plan. Um, you know, the, I guess the there's a there's a um, a position available, the the new uh, recreation director position, and I think this document, if approved now, would serve as an, a, a bible, if you will. For, for anybody that's coming in, whether they're from the community or from some, some other place, if they're coming to do that rec director position, I think this, this will outline kind of the, what, what we envision for the, for the community to, to need. Mm -hmm. yeah, excellent. So thank you to everybody who's put all this effort into creating this It's been a fun process, document. and we've been happy to help. So. Thank you, Rick. Thank you, Rick. Thank, you. Thank, you. thank you to everybody. <clears throat> Um, that brings us through unfinished business, uh, tell managers report. <clears throat> I handed out a, uh, memorandum of understanding that we've been working on with the library. Um, this has gone through our attorney after numerous rewrites, 
from both the library and me um, and the attorney. Uh, he thought this was a um, comprehensive, uh, not comprehensive, but a document that would work as a memorandum of understanding and covers all the things that he had pointed out. Um, and I sent it off to the library uh, group that I've been working with um, and told them I was going to hand it out to you, uh, give you a chance to read through it, and we can discuss it next, uh, next meeting on the 24th. Uh, this will give them time to digest some of it. Um, I think it covers what they were looking for. Um, so just take a look at it, digest it, and uh, make some comments, and we'll get back to it on, uh, on the 24th. And it's, we're moving forward with it. Two questions. Well, question and a statement. Um, does this address who owns the property? Yes, it does. And who does that end up being? That's the... Uh, Berwick Library Association. Okay. And it states in that that uh, they are responsible for all capital uh, projects, for roof repairs, what have you. Um, it also points out that they have to cover the uh, liability and property insurance on it. We will not do that. Okay. So. And my statement is there's a typo on the very last page. There is. Oh, no. It says the budget funding for the BPL US contingent. Oh, okay, I'll change that. Yep. Small details. Anything else, Dave? Oh, oh yeah, I have more. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'll make those Sorry adjustments. Sorry about that. <laughs> and I, I met with uh, Paula this morning, the president of the Berwick Library Association, and. Uh, they're going to meet tomorrow night and walk through it and see if they, they're okay with it. Um, it's a very hard transition for them because they really want this to happen. We're all very supportive of it, but letting go uh, is hard for them because they've committed how many years, Tom, to this? Library? Oh, a long time now. <laughs> yeah. And it's they've really like, grown it to a um, right. you know great facility and programs. Um, we had a fire station meeting uh, this, morning, uh, this afternoon. Um, we're starting to make some real good progress. If you have driven by, you can see the steel uh, structure is up and the walls are going up pretty fast. I'm, I'll bet that they probably finished most of the outside walls and they'll be working on the inside walls. And they also will be putting the uh, roof trusses on probably by the end of the week. So they're moving pretty quick. Um, and. Uh, we've gone through our winter um, contingency budget. Um, we did? Yeah. We because did. we didn't have a winter. <laughs> well, there was a thought to it. You know. Okay. Um, but that's okay. There's a couple of things we've, we've made some changes. The group has to save some money. Um, most of the conversation today had to deal with uh, Central Main Power, uh, dealing with them and getting the power to uh, the building. And uh, we have to go back, the architects and the builder will have to go back and talk a little bit more about that. But it's making good progress. Where so. are they going to run the power from? Um, right out on uh, Sullivan Street. They're going to run it down the main from Sullivan Street? Yeah. They're underground gonna, or underground, underground? Yeah, everything's underground. Yeah, they're going to have to put a pole um, mm -hmm. where there's this very large culvert. It's going to have to go on the other side of that. And then from there, we can run it's it underground. underground. And... Uh, That'll be good. And they're already working with water and sewer to make those connections fairly soon. So that's a good that's thing. That's going to come off of Sullivan Street, too, down that yes. new, new yep. driveway? You yep. work this way? So it's, it's been a much better process lately than, than when we first started. So been, uh, you're pretty lucky the weather's held out really good this morning. Oh, yeah. Really fortunate. Yeah. So um, getting ready to send out paving bids this week. Um, just <clears throat> so those will go out. The deadline to have them in will be April. Uh, 23rd, and uh, we'll see how those prices come in. So, and I think that's all I have. Any other questions of the town manager? We've had 38 applications for the rec director position. Wow. And we have a committee, and Rick is serving on that, and of six people, and um, we've started looking at resumes, so it's a little bit, <clears throat> a lot to do still. Thank you, Steve. Um, selectman's communications. I do have some paperwork here, but unfortunately, I haven't gotten around to seeing what it's all about. So I'll go skip right over that. Um, 
approval of accounts payable. <coughs> we have a payroll warrant, 2034, from February 20th, 2020, for the amount of $60,945.81. Account payable warrant, 2036, from March 5th, 2020, for the amount of $1,295,276.20. As we have a water warrant, 036, from March 5th, 2020, for the amount of $26,892.41. We have a payroll warrant, 2036, for March 5th, 2020, for the amount of $58,775.85. And payroll warrant, 2037. From March 12, 2020, is for $58,028.33. 20, 23, 23. 23 cents, sorry about that. Is uh, I make a motion to pay our bills. Second. Any discussion? All those in favor? Thank you. <coughs> New business. Oh boy. <laughs> Is I got to go through the warrant, read through the warrant, and then we have to vote on each other. the individual. Each other. Yeah. Each other. If we don't. We don't need a motion for each article. I will just ask if you approve or disapprove. When we go through it the first time, right? Yeah. All at the same time. Going right. No, no. We got to go word by article. So you got to do each one. Article one. You approve yeah. it. Article yeah. two. Yeah. Okay. yeah. So. Um, <laughs> Do we really need to approve Article 1 and 2? Nope. No. <laughs> <laughs> I can say the, the moderator shows preside over the meeting and to, for, to elect by secret ballot, two selectmen. Is, uh, Article 3. Shall the town vote to adopt proposed amendments to the land use ordinance? The Board of Selectmen recommends a yes or no vote. Those say, say yes. Aye. Yes. 5-0. Article 4. So the town vote to adopt proposed amendments to the land use ordinance regarding adult use marijuana, Exhibit B. I do want to make one change here because we mentioned this at our last meeting. Let me get that. Is under the last part of it, under 8.25.8 under the permits, it talks about the provision shall be reviewed by the Burke Planning Board. And I had made the recommendation that it be the Burke Planning Board and the Board of Selectmen. Okay. And at the time, members of the Planning Board that were here agreed that that should be. So I would like to change that wording. Okay. I think that's the only change I saw. Um, let's see, where was I? Article 4. Um, those in favor of Article 4? With the correction. As modified. Oh, as modified. Yes. <laughs> yes. 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 Yeah. Yes. Five yes. <clears throat> I'm trying to rush through it, so I forgot that. <laughs> <laughs> Article 5. Tell the, shall the town vote to adopt proposed addition to the marijuana establishment licensing ordinances to the land use ordinance regarding my marijuana establishment? That sounds worthy, but. Um, shall the town vote to adopt the proposed addition of marijuana establishment licensing ordinance to the land use ordinance regarding marijuana establishments? Uh, all those who say yes? Yes. Yes. Five zero. Article six. <clears throat> shall the town vote to adopt the proposed amendment to subdivision regulations? All those in favor, yes? Five zero. <coughs> is Article 7. Shall the town vote to adopt the proposed rezoning request for Lot 1 at 20 Rochester Street from R1 to C1 in the Village Overlay District? Yes. All those in favor? Yes. Five zero. Article 8. Shall the town vote to adopt proposed recreation master plan as amended? <laughs> All those say yes? Yes. Thank you. Yeah. Article 9. You know we don't do the money one. <clears throat> so the town vote to use up to 2 mil 
$2,900,000 from estimated revenues to reduce the amount to be raised for, by taxation in fiscal year 2020-2021. So we'll say yes. Yes. Mark, you? Yeah, yeah, yep. yeah. Okay. No. Article 10, shall the town vote to raise an appropriate sum of $346,325 for the general expense account for fiscal year 2020-2021. Yes? Yes. Yeah. Yes. yes. <clears throat> Article 11, shall the town vote to raise and appropriate the sum of $411,431 for the town administration account for fiscal year 2020-2021. Yes? Yes. Article 12, <clears throat> shall the town vote to raise and appropriate the sum of $297,482 for the town clerk account for fiscal year 2020-2021? Yes? Yes. Yes. Article 13, shall the town vote to raise and appropriate the sum of $2,800 for the planning account for fiscal year 2020-2021? Yes? Yes. Article 14, shall the town vote to raise and appropriate the sum of $114,400 for the assessor's office account for fiscal year 2020-2021? Yes? Yes. Article 15, shall the town vote to raise and appropriate the sum of $180,150 for the town hall account for fiscal year 2020-2021? Yes? Yes. Yes. Article 16, Shall the town vote to raise and appropriate the sum of $10,000 for the general assistance account for fiscal year 2020-2021? Yes? Yes. Yes. <clears throat> Article 17. Shall the town vote to raise and appropriate the sum of $1,997,749 for the police department account for fiscal year 2020-2021? Yes? Yes. yes. Article 18, shall the town vote to raise and appropriate the sum of $1,091,148 for the fire department account? I'm going to skip the fiscal year 2020. <laughs> yeah. We all know where it's going. That's fine. Yes? yes. yes. <laughs> Article 19, shall the town vote to raise and appropriate the sum of $1,141,833 for the public works account? Yes? Yes. Yes. Article 20, shall the town vote to raise and appropriate the sum of $297,662 for the Berwick Public Library account? Yes? yes. Yes. Article 21, shall the town vote to authorize the expenditure of all revenues received from the State of Maine Urban Rural Initiative Program for fiscal year 2020-2021 for road improvements as authorized by the program with unspent balances to be carried forward each year? Yes? Yes. yes. Article 22, yes. shall the town vote to raise and appropriate the sum of $546,317 for the refuse disposal account? Yes? Yes. 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 Article 23, shall the town vote to raise and appropriate from taxes the sum of $120,901 and appropriate the sum of $100,000 from the existing recreation revenue account for a total of $220,901 for the recreation account. The current balance for the recreation revenue account is $151,817. Yes? Yes. 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 Article 24. <clears throat> shall the town vote to raise and appropriate the sum of $542,037 for debt service to cover this appropriation for fiscal year 2020. 2021, <clears throat> and as authorized by the passage of Article 31 and 32 at the 2016 Annual Town Meeting and Article 5 at the November 6, 2018 referendum election. Yes? Yes. yes. Article 25, tell the town vote to raise and appropriate the sum of $26,450 for the Community Agency Appropriations Account. Yes? Yes. 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 Article 26, shall the town vote to raise and appropriate the sum of $196,388 for the annual fire protection, i.e. the fire hydrant costs. Yes? Yes. yes. Article 27, 
Shall the town vote to raise and appropriate the sum of $100,000 for the purpose of investing in capital purchase and replacement of fire department apparatus and vehicles for fiscal year 2020-2021 and place this amount into the fire department capital account established for this purpose with any unspent balances to carry forward each year until fully expended? Yes? Yes. 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 <clears throat> Article 28. <clears throat> Shall the town vote to appropriate the sum of $400,000 from unassigned fund balance for fiscal year 2020-2021 and authorize its use for road, bridge, and sidewalk construction and repairs, as well as town parking lots and public ways, and including expenses for curbing, drainage, and engineering fees when required, with the funds to be used in conjunction with the State of Maine Urban Rural Initiative Program and the unspent balances to be carried forward each year. Yes? Yes. yes. Article 29, shall the town vote to raise and appropriate the sum of $300,000 for use for road, bridge, and sidewalk construction and repairs, as well as town parking lots and public ways, and including expenses for curbing, drainage, and engineering fees when required, with the funds to be used in conjunction with the State of Maine Urban Rural Initiative Program, is when unspent balances to be carried forward each year. Yes. 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 It's Unspent balances. We ever have any unspent balances in the road account? <laughs> Usually. <laughs> this year especially. Article 30. Shall the town vote to raise and appropriate the sum of $20,000 as a first lease payment for the purchase of one new police cruiser for fiscal year 2020-2021 and place this amount into the police capital equipment account established for this purpose with unspent balances to be carried forward each year until fully expended and authorize the Board of Selectmen to enter into a lease purchase agreement on terms it deemed appropriate with a balance to be repaid over a period of no longer than five years. So yes. you're, hold on a second. So you're not asking us to put in $20,000 a year for five years, right? No, that this is just the first lease payment. So that's just the first lease payment. Yeah. Okay. So every year we'll go through and put another. It seems like a heavy lease payment to me. You want to see the price of these vehicles. They, uh, and that includes equipment. What they do, what we do here, we, we always put the first lease payment, we pay it out of the capital reserve account. Yeah. And then they go, for the following three payments, it goes comes out of their budget, operating budget. What, so how much is the cruiser going to cost? Um, this particular cruiser is anywhere between forty-five dollars and $50,000. What, what's particular about it? Just it's a it Ford be. Interceptor. You know, so it's a Ford, it's not a, it's a sedan? Or it's a, a uh, explorer or something like explorer. that? Explorer. It's like an explorer body. Okay. Yeah. All right. All-wheel drive. No, I understand. <coughs> <coughs> Any other questions of the town manager? No. No. Yes? Yes. Yes. Thank you. Article 31. <coughs> Shall the town vote to raise and appropriate the sum of $42,000 for fiscal year 2020-2021 and authorize its use for continuing... To continue addressing storm drainage system outfall issues identified by the Maine Department of Environmental Protection during an, during an audit of the town's stormwater drainage system and place this amount into the planning capital reserve account established for this purpose with unspent balances to be carried forward each year until fully expended. Yes? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Article 32. Shall the town vote to raise and appropriate the sum of $20,000 and authorize the Board of Selectmen to hold it in a contingency account and to use it to meet unanticipated expenses and emergencies that might occur during the fiscal year and with unspent balances to be carried forward each year? Yes? Yes. 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 Article 33. <clears throat> Shall the town vote to raise and appropriate the sum of $24,000 for the Federal Stormwater Program for fiscal year 2020, 2021, and place this amount into the account established for this purpose with unspent balances to be carried forward each year until it fully expended. Yes. 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 Article 34. So the town vote to raise and appropriate the sum of $3,750 for economic development and place this amount into account established for this purpose with unspent balances to be carried forward each year until fully expended. Yes? Yes. 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 Article 35. <clears throat> Shall the town vote to raise and appropriate the sum of $1,000 for emergency management and place this amount into the account established for this purpose with unspent balances to be carried forward each year until fully expended? Yes? Yes. 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 
Article 36, <clears throat> shall the town vote to appropriate the sum of $62,500 from the unassigned fund balance for self-contained breathing apparatus, personal protective gear, mobile radio, and CPR equipment, and place this amount into an account established for this purpose with unspent balances to be carried forward each year until fully expended. Yes. 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 Can we can we spell that out for the for the general public, please? Can we want? The spell S -C -B -A. spell out S C B A. Let's we'll kind of okay. break it down. Yeah, we can spell it. Yeah. Self-contained breathing apparatus. Yes. They're very good. Uh, mobile gear radio. Yeah. Um, Do you want CPR spelled out? Um. Yes, yeah, might as well I do both. Might as well, yeah. What is it it usually about 62,000 a year? Cardiopulmonary resuscitative. Thank you. What they're asking for this year it is, yep. So last year, what was it last year? I think it was 50,000. So it's always around the kind of Yeah, it's that. always around no, that. Over, 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 yeah. over, over. You know, as we get more guys on the force, we're going to boost it up stuff. a little yep. Um, I forgot to ask, did I say yes on that one? Yes. I have five yeah. yeses, okay. but uh, <laughs> losing track let's of the do it again yeah. just to make sure. Article 37. <laughs> Shall the town vote to appropriate the sum of 100000 from the unsigned fund balance for fuel, t fuel tank replacement of public works as required by the DEP? Yes? Yes. Yes. How, um, is that what our price is going to be, hundred grand? Plus we are replacing the software on the pumps. So we have 20000 put aside. But that's the cost of just doing the tank work. Okay. Yeah. Article 38. <clears throat> Shall the town vote to raise and appropriate the sum of $15,000 for the unfunded liabilities account and place this amount into the account established for this purpose with unspent balances to be carried forward each year until fully expended? Yes? Yes. 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 Article 39. Shall the town vote to raise and appropriate the sum of $25,000 for fiscal year 2020-2021, which begins July 1st, and consecutive fiscal, year, fiscal years for grant matching funds to be placed into the account and carry forward each year. I'll read the note on that since I messed it up. This funding will be used for 20% matching funds for the Kittery Area <coughs> Yeah, Kittery Area, MLP, the main DOP transportation programs and community development block grants, if awarded. And yes. We, and we have been awarded one this year. Oh, Come we have, we Come have been awarded some. So. Mm -hmm. yes? Yes. Yes. yes? Yes. Yes. Article 40. So the town vote to appropriate the sum of $41,600 from the unassigned fund balance <clears throat> and to authorize its use for the purchase of police department capital items, including radi radios, taser equipment, firearms replacement, furniture, three laptop replacements, server, and modems. How often does the firearms have to be replaced? I think it's every uh, five or six or years. Five years. I believe the chief said six years. I think, yeah, I think, yeah. I think he, he said six yeah, years. Yeah, when they, did the, when they did the presented the budget. Yeah, yeah I asked him about the it. Taser? Um, no, I don't know about the I don't know about the tasers, uh, but I think I think the tasers is, is um, they have they're, they're old they're old enough that they're getting hard to get the parts for. So mm -hmm. we're going to get new tasers. I believe so. Yes. yes. Yeah. Okay. Um, those in favor? Yes. 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 <clears throat> so this one's highlighted. <laughs> <laughs> Article forty-one. This needs we, discussion. We need discussion on this. Um, is the article reads, shall the town vote to appropriate the sum of $300,000 from the unassigned fund balance and authorize its use for the purchase and installation of a full-size elevator at Town Hall? Mr. Town Manager. Mr. Town Manager. Um, I met with, I've been having Mike Lassell has been doing the design work for us at a very reasonable price. And uh, he and I and Tom sat down and talked and he has its pine brick. Pine what? Pine Brook, Pine Brook uh, construction. They do elevator work, a lot of elevator work, and to get us a better price. So we had to push the buttons hard today to get them, but we finally got a price from them, along with the full cost of uh, uh, Mike Lassell's uh, with a mechanical design part of it. Um, I think we have pictures here of it. But roughly, the the whole cost is over half a million dollars. Um, and when we first started this, we were looking at, I thought, 300000 
Uh, my chairman here said you won't get it done for that might price, but we'll see. And um, so I'm not sure where to carry this. We this funding, the three hundred thousand, was coming out of the unassigned fund balance, which is so it doesn't impact the taxpayers. But um, we, I don't want to take five hundred, uh, another additional two hundred thousand out of that. So. I'm not sure. Take the 300, then do it again next year for another couple. Yeah, of we can. That would we be my recommendation. Half, we can't change that to a half a million. Did we. Oh, well, we could. Fund balance. Yeah, you, yeah. He doesn't want to take the no, no, extra 200,000 out of the unassigned fund balance. So especially where, you know, this year what's happened recently with the economy and everything, you know, is uh, we're not quite sure where we're going to be going, what we might need to do. <coughs> I, I had I had talked to Steve and, and said let's just do it. But is um, over the last week or so, is um, you know is <clears throat> to amend it. You no, know, it, it says it authorizes its use for the purchase and installation of a full size elevator. Um, <clears throat> is it doesn't say we have to use it this year, but do we need to make? I, I think we changed the article to read to put it into a reserve account for that purpose uh, and to carry it forward for any other. <clears throat> Spent amounts. Yeah, I, yes. I would be comfortable with that. Yeah, I'd be okay. Um, that's what I would is, do. You know, because the other thing too is, if we're going to be doing this to make this ADA compliant, you know, I, I think we need to look at making the town hall more ADA compliant, yep. which is going to include restrooms. You know, and um, yeah, so well, this would this would be this would be a way that we can start this and get it going, and then look at what happens next year and if things. Go well. We can put another three hundred thousand. So, so we should write this up to, to not only do that, but also do other ADA compliance. So we can use that three hundred thousand to make the shed house bigger, or the, some doorways bigger during right. this year, maybe. Right. Right. Well, we're gonna, we haven't got prices on that, but uh, one of the things that we, we are planning on doing is looking for grant money, and there should be grant money out there for ADA compliance. Oh, yeah. well, public so spaces. this will give us some time to do that as well, yep. which I think makes more sense. They get some other pricing. Yeah, yeah, I yep. agree. This is just a rough number, but I think he's pretty much on. Uh, well, it's, it's right on where I said it would probably be half a million. <laughs> so, um, <laughs> is, uh, um, <clears throat> do you have uh, wording? Mm -hmm. We can just add the phrase that we used in others um, to be placed into a reserve account and carry forward each year until fully expended. Yep. Does that work? Sure. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> probably, yeah, it, it, probably should see the wording before we vote on it, I would think. Well, I need a vote. You need a vote? Tonight, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, well, it would be, be the exact same it, it is, but just adding the phrase, what would it be again, Patty? The, the, uh, so it will read, um, authorize its use for the purchase and installation of a full-size elevator at Town Hall to be placed into a reserve account. For that purpose. For that, for this purpose. So just the elevator purpose, then. Yeah. Yes, uh, and carry forward each year until fully expended. I good. think we can plan I'll, I'll, over this coming year to get better prices on bathroom changes and things like that. Um, and with the elevator design and where we were going to put it, it warrants a, a putting a uh, bathroom on the second floor, so you have places where people can come out, a handicap, unisex bathroom. Mm -hmm. So when they're in the auditorium, they don't have to come up and down the stairs right. as well. Mm -hmm. So Unbelievable. It, would, it would make us ADA compliant. Well, if you have the <coughs> elevator in, they don't have to go upstairs. That's, that's right. Right? They go downstairs. <laughs> Except those aren't ADA to the, compliant. To the, to yeah. the bathrooms yeah. that aren't no, ADA. We do have one. the elevators in, we don't have to do the bathroom. No, the yeah. bathrooms aren't compliant. You're not compliant now? No. We oh. have in each room, each well, bathroom. Well, yeah, yeah. The there is, there is, there is one right. stall, right? Yeah, yeah. there's right. one stall on each right in bathroom. Right to the floor ceiling. I like those old ones. I do, too. You can take them home. We had this conversation last time. really good. Um... All right, is, um, we have Article 41 as amended. Any further discussion? No. Yes? Yes. Yes. Five. All right. <clears throat> Article 42. Shall the town vote to appropriate the sum not to exceed $120,000 from the unassigned fund balance 
and authorize its use for the installation of radiant heat in the apparatus bay of the new fire station. Yes? Yes. So this is what we've done with the, uh, the, floor, the heat now in the fire station? Yeah, this is just the apparatus bay. They're going to put radiant heat. Not the whole building? No. Just the apparatus Just the apparatus bay. Price is higher than the number we talked about before, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Well, they were throwing at us 113000 so, uh, and that didn't include the, the, the cost of the, the So this all got missed. Board. This all got missed. Um, no, this was, this was always, always put in as an alternate. You know, this but it wasn't, the number wasn't carried in a bid. No. Why? No, it was because it was carried as an alternate. What did they carry for a number? So was, I think it was 113000 as an alternate. So well, we, ca we covered it already in the building, right? No, because it was... Oh, we don't have, we could, okay, so it wasn't right. an alternate, that was funded, it was right. an unfunded alternate. Right, Okay, yeah. I right. got you. And we're, we're I, hoping that, and we were talking today about the budget, and uh, we've found some savings uh, because we're not putting carpet in, we're putting tile in the areas, uh, like the training rooms and yeah, stuff like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 shouldn't have yeah, carpet. That's, the way yeah. Said. that's crazy. <laughs> well, so we, they said. Yeah. <laughs> we have some areas where we've saved some money. Um, there was another one, I can't think of what it was, an $11,000 savings. So we're, as we're moving forward, we're hoping we'll find more savings and it will fit in within the budget. We have. How do we make out with the doors? We finally got the doors. And the price, we don't have the price that we first got was, it wasn't much less because they put it back out to bid. And we have another bid that's around uh, 90000 So we have the money in the budget, that budget? For that, there? yes. Yeah. So, okay. Okay. Has we voted on that one, correct? Uh, yeah. No. Yes. I didn't. Mark, were you a yes? Yeah. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. All right. Article 43. <clears throat> Shall the town vote to appropriate the sum of $50,000 from the unassigned fund balance and authorize placing it in the recreation reserve account to be used for capital projects? Yes? Yes. 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 Article 44, shall the town vote to authorize the Board of Selectmen to enter into a purchase and sale agreement with landowners for purchase of property that allows for the expansion of Memorial Field. And note on that, the funding for the purchase will be used from impact fees that are allowed to be used for these types of community projects. So we, we, do we know what those, what land we're going to purchase? No, we're still talking to... Right, so I want to know before I... Well, that's going to have to come before us, before it's ever... So we're going to be able to go look at it and all the... Oh, yeah. Right. There's a couple of parcels that we're looking at, good-sized parcels that border, border it. I thought it was too low. No. No, I, low? no, Rick and I actually walked around out back there. Oh, so not too and, low, huh? And uh, it, it, um, That's good. It, 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 no, when I first went out, it looked like there was a lot of wetlands, but it actually is, there's a stream that runs through it that drains the property very well, actually. Maybe yeah. we could build a pond for irrigation. <laughs> Is that a use of town water irrigation? So, we use a pond. Um, but what this would do, this would just That's give. A really good idea. This would just authorize us as a selectman to enter into a yeah, negotiation. Yeah. That's good. So, yeah. Is yes. Yes. All yes. in favor? Yep. Article forty-five. Shall the town vote to authorize the use of interest money for the Lena Clark, Lena Clark Trust Fund interest account when there are major repairs or maintenance needs at the town hall? Yes. 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 Mike, yes. Article 46, <clears throat> shall the town vote to charge interest on unpaid taxes at a rate of 9% per annum and to set the date when taxes can, when taxes are committed for fiscal year 2020-2021 with said interest to be collected after October 16th, 2020 and April 16th, 2021 and allow the tax collector to accept prepayment of taxes prior to the tax commitment date. Yes? Yes. 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 <clears throat> Article 47, shall the town vote to set the interest rate of 4% as allowed by state law as a rate to be paid to taxpayers who pay amounts in excess of amounts finally assessed and authorize any such interest paid, uncollectible taxes or abatements granted to be charged against the annual overlay. Yes? Yes. Yes. And that's it. Yeah. <laughs> Um, and the next we have the Teamsters labor contract approval, but we're going to have to go into executive session first, correct, Steve? Um, well, I can tell you what 
we've come to an agreement based on on the least temporary TA uh, for what we proposed with the grid with a few minor changes but didn't change change the public works a little bit but not by much um, they are meeting on Friday uh, this Friday morning to vote on it um, my request and the finance director's request is to vote on the contract pending if they vote to approve it. If they don't vote to approve it, then it's null and void. That way she can clean up her books and get everybody back paying. So. <coughs> um, so do we need to go into executive session but, first? I, 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 would, I don't think so. Unless you have questions, specific questions, that we should talk in an executive session. Any other board members need to? No. No. Okay. Is, um, <clears throat> do we have a most motion to accept? So moved. Second. Mm. Second. Yep. Any further discussion? All those in favor? Five zero. Thank you. Um, <clears throat> Quick claim deeds, we have none. We have one abatement with outstanding right now. Yep. Is, um, Can we talk about that? Or? Yeah, if you would. Um, we have a house up on 107 uh, Sullivan Street. It's, I'm sorry. It's under 18 other um, business non-agenda. It didn't make the agenda, but. OK. Yeah. You there's can just a deadline for the 15th. OK. So we need to have it in. Sorry, Steve. Uh, I'll, I'll just bring you up to date. On, on, the, on the 15th, it will become your no. You don't have to vote on it. It's the way I'm reading this. Right. Um, but what we've done is the uh, code enforcement officer went out to the site, um, did an inspection, um, and she has found that several violations to condemn the building, one of them being a structural, uh, it's unsafe, construction it doesn't meet any aspects of what code is oh. for building and the other is the inspection for uh, it has black mold throughout the dwelling it means there was water at one time in the basement I'm, I'm sure that was the cause of that the owner has been contacted we it has been posted um, with a nice big condemned sign on the door people should stay off the property and out of the building because it's not safe um, and the owner is going to be required to get a structural engineer to uh, determine the actual integrity of the building uh, and also inspection of uh, black mold. It doesn't need to be remediated. Why do we got to give him an abatement? You're not. It says a Rebecca made an abatement of $641. Well, uh, that, that, that was when I brought up the whole right. thing about... I'm this whole problem. I'm not going to go no, for right. a statement for this guy. Right. No. Right. Well, that, that's why. That's what started this. Isn't yeah. it? When yeah. it first came up, you're not taking any forward. action. You, you're denying. It's basically denied right. as of so the as long 15th. So we just let it sit. It, nothing happens. Is it, it, you know the property, right? The one up on Pine Hill. Mm. And, I know and, the landlord better. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, we, you know, the town has been through this once before. Oh, yeah. You know, we, we tried doing this once before with structural engineers, and somehow he got somebody to write it off. Right? That was a while okay ago. Yeah. And, uh, I'm not doing that. We're not going to. Yeah. yeah. So we were after him over the last three years just to get the area cleaned up. See, we put the wrecking ball right to it. Yeah. yeah. Let so, him deal with that. So, so if we do nothing, then, you know, it just continues on as is. So, so for burns, we got to take care of it. The neighbors have to look at it. Yeah, yeah the neighbors don't care for it. But yeah. Can deny um, it. All right. They can deny if they want to. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Is, um, <laughs> is uh, second public comment. Rick, you got any second public comment? Now you said enough first time around. Uh, so we don't need an executive session nope. at this time. Uh, we've done our other business non agenda items. Motion to adjourn. All those in favor. <laughs> Thank you, everybody. <laughs>